Brian Hardup faces no criminal liability. Instead, the prosecutor's office filed a Class A infraction for failure to yield to a pedestrian causing injury. I sat down with the prosecutor today to understand how he came to that decision. April 19th, 52-year-old Henry Najeski was crossing South Calhoun Street. 46-year-old Fort Wayne Police Sergeant Joshua Hardup was turning left. Hardup hit Najeski and he later died in the hospital. We tried to follow the protocol very similar to how we handled police action shootings. Indiana State Police have been investigating the crash. Their results were handed over to Allen County Prosecutor Michael McAlexander to decide Hardup's possible charges. Uh, our results showed that he was not on the phone at the time of the accident. Uh, he had no drugs or alcohol in his system. And uh, the view of the video, there was no mechanical issues with the truck. McAlexander ultimately decided Hardup would get a ticket for failure to yield to a pedestrian, but no criminal charges. And when you came to your conclusion on... Uh, you know, giving him this infraction. What charges did you consider before that? What were the possible options that you could have uh, placed? Well, that's why we, we eliminated all of the potential uh, impaired driving, uh, like OWI and uh, driving while under the influence of drugs. He clearly wasn't looking at where he was about to turn shortly before it happened. But, and that is why we filed the failure to yield to uh, a pedestrian in the right of way. A charge considered reckless homicide, but it didn't stick. McAlexander says that's because there were no drugs or alcohol in Hardup's system. And they determined he was not on his phone while driving. The unmarked police vehicle was also not equipped with a computer. Something distracted him at some point. He should have been able to see that. But we, as all of us drive, we look away at different things at different times. To add, Indiana does not have a negligent homicide law like in other states. And a lot of our viewers um, have sent us messages and on Facebook saying um, they think if this was them in this situation, they would be in jail right now. What do you think about that? Uh, we do the same analysis on every car crash that that we go through. The major question, what do you want to say to people who are worried that Sergeant Hardup may have gotten special treatment? Uh, I don't believe he got special treatment. We did this very thoroughly. Uh, we tried to do this as best we could, objectively as we could. Uh, he cooperated during this, um, but I don't think that um, that we pulled any punches on this. Also tonight, the attorney representing the widow of Henry Najeski shared a statement with us. It says, quote, we greatly appreciate prosecuting attorney Michael McAlexander, the Indiana State Police and others meeting with us yesterday to discuss the results of the investigation. The family also sincerely appreciates your continued prayers and support as they try to pick up the pieces from this tragic incident. We've also requested body camera footage from the officers who responded to that crash. Sergeant Hardup's initial hearing is scheduled for August 29th at 8.30 in the morning. For 21 Investigates, I'm Carly Van Cleve.